joined by Hofstra head coach Shannon Smith and junior Alyssa Perella. Coach, just your opening thoughts on today's 11-4 win over Sacred Heart. Yeah, obviously um, really exciting to get another W underneath our belt. Um, I thought that our team worked um, really hard um, to be able to get this win. Um, I thought Sacred Heart uh, played us really well and made it difficult for us to, to do some of the things that we wanted to do, but um, I thought Alyssa did a really great job at putting our team on, on her back on the offensive side of the field and, and really finishing her shots. Uh, Darcy Smith, an incredible job again on, on the draw controls, having 12 draws. Um, and I thought that our defense really locked in when we needed to, um, and, and Jess coming up with some big saves for us. Alyssa, coach has mentioned it. Darcy's really been incredible this year. Can you just talk about what she's meant to the team and especially with the draw controls this whole season and today? Yeah, she's been doing incredible. She's outside all the time working on her draws with Amanda. We're looking at film. Um, I'm whispering underneath my breath every time she gets the draw. I'm so pumped for her and she's just been working so hard on the draws and also on the defensive side of the field. She's really been <clears throat> um, creating, she basically starts the offense for us. She gets that ball and gets it down as fast as she can and make sure she's protecting her stick and getting it to the other side of the field. And I give her all the props to our possessions on offense because without her, we wouldn't have the amount of draw controls we do. And I'm really proud of her. Coach, uh, obviously great offensive showing from Alyssa today. What did you see offensively from your team as you got a little more balance as the game progressed? Yeah, I just think that um, we weren't moving as much as we should have been in the first half, and I think that um, I think we started to shoot the ball a little bit better. I thought we had a little bit more movement, and we were dodging harder, which I think created the opportunities um, for Alexa and, and Katie Whalen to be able to get their goals there in the second half. Um, I just think that we got to come out faster and stronger right from the beginning and getting a lot more movement um, out there on the field on our attacking side. Now, other than their opening goal in like the first couple minutes and then a fluky one at the end of the, the first half, and then two late ones when it was basically over, can you just speak on the, I know you guys put up 11 goals and it was a great offensive performance, but just to get that defensive structure on the back end to minimize them to only you know four goals over the course of the game, how big was that for you guys? Oh, it was huge. I thought that our defense, um, they're really growing because they're super young. Um, and I think they're um, being led by, you know, um, you know, Darcy and Annalise down there. And I think that our freshmen are really stepping up. And Shannon Boyle does a tremendous job for us every game playing. You know, she's a sophomore who plays like a senior out there. Um, you know, I thought it was even more impressive um, because, you know, we told the defense this, that we had a lot of stops, but we also had a lot of turnovers in our clear. Um, and they were also able to come back and, and make those stops. I think we just got to eliminate those, um, those turnovers but a lot of growth individually, I think, on the defensive side of the field, a lot more confidence, um, and they're really starting to play together uh, well as a unit, which is which is important as we continue to get the, to the most important part of our season. And, and you speak about growth and, and confidence and playing, you know, three ranked opponents over the past three weeks in Maryland, John Hopkins, and then even coming away with a win against uh, High Point last game. How big has that um, been for you guys in order to like develop? I know you spoke about your freshman, how big experiences those have been and to be able to play top teams in the nation. And then how rewarding is that to see that translate to maybe a weaker point today, but to be able to still come out with that same heart and that same hustle that you guys play against top level teams? Yeah, I think it's huge. I think it's just a testament to um, our leadership and our captains on the team. Um, you know, really stressing the importance to continue to work hard and continue to move forward to, towards our overall goals. Um, obviously, we have a really tough non-conference schedule. We've done that on purpose to really uh, develop our team uh, as quickly as we can before we got into our conference play. Um, and I think we were just been knocking on the door and obviously high points. It was a huge win over a ranked opponent for us. I thought we were really close and, and you know, against Hopkins and USC. I just don't think we were ready because we were younger. Um, and we've got a really important game coming up against Dartmouth. They played a, you know, a one goal game to Michigan, who's in the top 10. Um, they played a four goal game to Northwestern, who's also in the top 10. So I think it's gonna be a really big game for us because you know they're gonna do very well in their Ivy League schedule this year and playing against Princeton and Penn. So it's gonna be another big win for us and, and if, we, if we can win on Tuesday. And Alyssa, from your players' perspective, how big has that stretch been for your development and the development of your teammates? Yeah, it's been huge. I think that the last couple games that we have against ranked opponents, it definitely, um, <clears throat> at practice, it makes us play a little bit harder and more focused on what we need to do. We try to scout teams as best as we can and really making each other better at practice each and every day. Um, now it just comes down to every game we play from now on. We want to play as perfect as possible and not let those little mistakes affect us. We can't shoot ourselves in the foot with little mistakes that we have because we are getting ready for CA play and at that point it's a 0-0 record and we have to make sure that we're going to come out strong and we're going to come out hard and 
everything we worked hard, worked for before the season is going to show in CA because that's the most important thing right now. Thank you, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you.